rustle of grass, the clatter of hoofs, the whistle of string, and the whiff of a step wind that fell into a hollow stem. All these sounds that surrounded our ancestors. Listening, people learned to play them, inventing a variety of musical instruments. Mobile, lightweight, and convenient for nomadic life. The project about musical instruments created by the great nomadic civilization. Sometimes a word is able to save the lost. Oral creativity is a folklore. Thanks to it, many nations managed to convey their original culture and traditions to our days. The Kazakh legends, tales and epics passed from mouth to mouth, save not only the names of brave warriors, wise battles, the names of great cities, historical places, but also to preserve the details of life, life of the nomadic people. How they lived, what did they dream about, and finally, what did our ancestors sing about? The names of the singers have gone into oblivion, their musical instruments have long turned into decay, so that even the sound of some of them is forgotten. But only the power of the word is able to return the lost from oblivion. Who knows when and which master invented this amazing instrument, or which musician first played it, to whom or what did he dedicate his melody to? We don't know this. After all, history was able to preserve only the name of this ancient musical instrument. Jet again an ancient multi-string plucked musical instrument. It resembles a harp or lion harp in shape. Jetagen has a soft, melodious sound. The Kazakh name is Jetagen. Probably comes from two words, Jete, seven, and again, or an. They can be deciphered as seven songs or seven singing strings. <laughs> It was a seven-string instrument, Asik served as strings. Moving them, they made a sound. In older times, Jetagen was extracted from a single piece of wood. The deck was covered from above, and horsehair strings were pulled. I think the ancient Jetagen was much shorter than the modern version. The master focused on the length of horsehair, but it is not so long. According to another version, Jetagen comes from the ancient Turkic Jatakan, which can be translated as line. By the way, Tuvans called an instrument looked like Jetagen a Chadagan. For the Hakas, it is known as Chatkan, and the Mont Bashkirs, it is called Yatagan. This is one of the oldest tools. Its prototype dates back to the 5th 4th century BC. We cannot call it only a Kazakh musical instrument. It is common among many Turkic peoples and peoples of Asia, because for the first time it appeared on the territory of Asia and Mongolia. Music scientists do not deny that the prototype of Jetagen and many other stringed and even bowed instruments could be Scythian, or as they call it, Bazerg harp. It was discovered in 1947 in Altai, during the excavations of the Pazerg Mounds by Soviet archaeologist Sergei Rudanko. The artifact is poorly preserved, but it was clear that this is a navicular musical instrument, hollowed out of a single piece of wood 
and head from two to six strings. Scientists attributed the find to the 5th century BC. The exact forms of the Pazirk harp are still debated, but the relic found affects a developed musical culture in the territory of Altai in the early Iron Age. So Jet again, spreading throughout Asia, was well developed among the Turkic peoples of Siberia. For example, among the Hakkasas, among the Altai, it most likely retained its oldest appearance. These peoples have not lost their instrument. And among the Kazakhs, they played Jet again somewhere until the middle of the 19th century. But then the instrument disappeared. The name Jetagen was introduced into the Dictionary of Kazakh Music by Bolat Sarbayev, a man who researched and restored a number of Kazakh national instruments. According to his recollections, he heard the word Jetagen in 1966 during an expedition to Uzbekistan from the lips of a local Kazakh narrator Jacques Lekilusinov. Aksakal told the ethnographer the legend of a musical instrument that had long ceased to exist in the Kazakh steppes, but remained in the legend. According to legend, Jet again was invented by an old man who lost seven sons during a spread of steppe murren. After the death of each of the children, the inconsolable father pulled a string on a tool hollowed out of a piece of withered wood and composed one kui. The people called this sorrowful kui Jetagen and Jetese, seven tunes of Jetagen. Unfortunately, they did not reach our days, as the instrument itself was lost. But thanks to the legend and the people, Preserving their oral folklore, the ancient jet again began its path of rebirth. In the course of his research, Sarabayev found references to this tool in the works of several Russian ethnographers – Lipohin, Palas, Richkov and Maslov. Each ethnographer, each traveler calls this tool in his own way. For example, someone calls him a yataga, someone calls it etige, and so on. But they describe the same instrument, which has seven strings, similar to a hollowed-out box in shape. In the second half of the last century, the famous master Oras Gazebe Simbaev, together with the ethnographer Sarbaev, began reconstruction of the jet again. The main source of information for researchers was an article published in 1818 in the journal Siberian Vestnik. In it, an ancient multi-stringed instrument was called Jatagan. Perhaps this was one of the most detailed descriptions of Jatagan. Jatagan got its name from the seven strings that are pulled over it. Jats means seven. It consists of a wooden hollowed box with a length of about one and a half arshen, a quarter wide, and a height of up to two points. It can be opened from one long and wide side. Seven metal strings are closed and stretched of different thicknesses, each of which has two supports. Siberian Newsletter, published by Grigory Spassky, year 1818. Based on an article from the Siberian Vestnik, but not having an initial sample, the authors began to test different shapes and sizes. They tried to make the instrument without and with splitting, cut and increase the number of strings. It is worth noting that the goal of the researchers was not only to recreate the jet again, but also to introduce the instrument into the ensemble. Empirically, the masters came to the conclusion for the scene, the jet again is optimal not with 7, but with 13 strings. Today the first versions of jet again, both 7-string and 13-string, are stored in the Museum of Kazakh Folk Musical Instruments, named after a class. By the way, 
At the same time, in the middle of the last century, the ethnographic ensemble Sazgen was created at the museum, where for the first time an old instrument was sounded. This is not a simple instrument. If you decide to deal with it, then it begins to attract you. It has a magical sound. Yes, there is one. A person has come to the jet again, then can no longer refuse it. Nurgul Jakabek is a senior lecturer at the Kurmangaze Kazakh National Conservatory. She is one of those who played on the very first jet again and made a special contribution to the further development of the ancient instrument. In the 80s of the last century, Nurgul joined the Sazgen team when she was a very young girl. She was offered to play a new instrument unknown to people before. As it turned out, only a few performers played before Nurgul. Today the musician recalls, the first acquaintance with Jetigen did not impress her, but rather even frightened her. I was handed such a heavy instrument. They put it on my lap but I don't understand how to use it. Somehow, I played, but for the first time, I understood nothing. It was the same 13-stringed jet again that Oras Gazebe Simbaev and Bolat Sarbaev worked on. It had pegs and string stands from a sick. And for several years, I played that jet again. It had two stands for 13 strings. The strings began with the note RE. You can play on this side, but the other side was not suitable for a full play. With left hand I touched the strings, but mostly I played with the right one. So I played a support role in the ensemble. The longer Nurgul learned jit again, the more she became convinced a unique instrument should be improved further. After all, the ethnographer Bolat Sarbaev, who began his revival, wrote in his notes that the jet again was not fully studied and it should be developed. Nurgul began to learn new methods of playing on jet again, to study similar musical instruments from other nations. The closest was the Hakas Chatkan. It was introduced to her by art critic Abdul Hamid Ryan Birgenov. <laughs> Once we made contact with Siberian nationalities and a folk group from Hakassia came to us. And I saw one of them had exactly the same jet again as ours. He played it so beautifully. We were so happy, you know it was as if we had found something that was lost long ago. They very well preserved the instrument. They knew how to properly key up. Abdul Hamid Aga is a famous Dombra player, art critic. He was very rooting for our jet again. And once he called me to his place, showed the Hakas instrument, Chatkan. He said that this is exactly our jet again. There is own system. Try to play it. He showed and taught me a couple of works. Having mastered the game on Chatkan, Nurgul decided to try to combine two Turkic instruments. So musicologists, together with the masters, improved the instrument's structure. A6 were replaced with wooden coasters and increased the number of strings to 21. Now the old jet again could not only decorate the musical score with melodious sound, but also solo in separate pieces. According to Nurgul, jet again occupied a special place in the musical culture of nomads. It does not look like a mobile dombra or light kubis and was not common among the people. All because jet again was an elite musical instrument. Its refined sound more often sounded not in a mured but in khan sheds. In the old days, they played this instrument when they welcomed honored guests from afar, for example, ambassadors from other states. 
When they arrived, being tired of the road, hosts invited them to a cool tent, gave food and water, and guests enjoyed the beautiful sounds of Jet again. And only then did the hosts held conversations with the guests. Great diplomacy, I think. The sparkling sounds of Jet again, shimmering like spring drops, can heal the soul. The performer is sure. I think initially this tool was created for cleansing the soul, for calming the heart. It was played for those who have lost a loved one. Take even the legend of Jet again. We cannot say whether that old man actually lived or not, whether he had sons. Yes, it doesn't matter. The essence is important. Why did that old man create Jet again? Why did he play on it? In order to calm his heart yearning for loss. Many stringed instruments related to the jet again in many nations had a sacred meaning. Take ancient Egypt. There they believed that the soul of the successor could communicate with the sounds of the harp. That is, this suggests that for the Egyptians the instrument had a certain power. Today at the Kurmangaze National Conservatory, Nurgul leads a class of jet again. There are whole ensembles of jet again players, so the popularity of this once forgotten instrument is growing every day. For children too. We make small jet agains. Indeed, now children want to learn how to play this instrument. So we need to develop this direction as well. Now there is a good demand for jet agains. Our musicians became interested. Modern jet again prefabricated. To make the instrument easier, today masters do not hollow out the body from a single piece of wood. Each part is made separately. For the body, birch, maple and mahogany are most often used. For decks, spruce or pine is preferable. Then we use only wooden nails. Metal is prohibited. They will spoil the wood except silver nails. Therefore, we use glue to a greater extent. Jet again is an amazing instrument. Being one of the oldest, it continues its development today. So the young musicologist, Camilia Skraeva, decided to try a new experiment. She wants to improve the jet again, facilitating the process of rebuilding strings in a new way. To do this, the girl used another multi-stringed musical instrument called kanun, which is common in the countries of the Middle East, as well as in Azerbaijan and Armenia. Camilla decided to borrow from kanun metal levers, links, with the help of which the strings, rising and lowering, change the pitch to a tone and a semitone. Now it's not very convenient, because playing in C major, we then tune here. It means probably 10 minutes, probably 5. 
It takes time and we reset to another piece of work. Camilla was looking for a specialist in the manufacture of kanun in several countries. Valerie Nerkaran from Armenia became interested in the idea, a master with 30 years of experience. In his homeland, the metal levers of the ling are called mandalas. The master will substitute them under each string of jetagan. This is the cannon, the Armenian national instrument. On notes, it has three strings. It is constructed with skin insets and half-tone mandalas. Well, we play with it differently. Here we raise the sound changes. I was also interested. Now we begin to improve their instrument. It was the same with the piano. Initially, there was a harpsichord, piano, organ, electronic piano now appeared, which can be assembled and put back. You can play with headphones. In the same direction, I would like to see the development of our ancient jet again. You hit the target. Yes. Uncle Valera, you have a sharp eye. Even if you don't hear, you feel exactly the accuracy. Of course, it depends on experience. Yes. I am very happy that the work began by our master Bulat Sarabayev, was continued by our mentors and handed over to us. We in turn are ready to further develop this musical instrument. Updated Jet Again was presented to the public. The authors presented the first copy to the museum of the music school named after Ahmed Jubanov. Here at the presentation, the musicians were given the opportunity to test the instrument. It plays very softly and sounds good, beautiful. It's convenient to play. Ancient jet again. It was disappeared, but was reborn again. And every time it is reborn, it becomes better and better, preserving the spirit of the nomadic people in its strings. Oh, my God. 